okay, tú. Cool. All right. So the last part of chapter 21 comes down to something called nucleophilic aromatic substitution, which can be branched into two separate types of reaction schemes, addition elimination and elimination addition. First of all, nucleophilic aromatic substitution should not be confused with electrophilic, electrophilic aromatic substitution, which is what we taught for exam one, where you had things like the friedel crafts reaction, the carbonyl with the Cl, and then you had AlCl3, or the Br2 and FeBr3 reactions. While you are going to still be adding things to benzene, in these reactions, the benzene was the thing that did the attack. For the nucleophilic aromatic substitutions, the benzene is being attacked by something else, rather than doing the attack. So, let's start with the easier one, the addition elimination mechanisms. First of all, Addition elimination, let's start by just drawing a benzene ring. In general, addition elimination reactants will always involve a benzene ring that has some kind of good withdrawing your bonding. Your most common examples being NO2 or CF3. Now, you can use other withdrawing groups, but these are two of your strongest withdrawing groups that you could expect to use, and they're the ones that are used most commonly, especially NO2. So let's say I put an NO2 on the ring like this. And we said before, NO2 looks like a N double bond O, N O minus, and I realized I forgot to say this in the other video, but there should be a plus on that nitrogen. Anyway, point being, we saw before that electrons always end up resonating. Let me use a different color. Electrons always end up resonating into that nitrogen. So like this, and swing up. And if we just drew that one set of resonance arrows, we would see that we would get a positive charge on the ortho position. There we go. A positive charge on the ortho position. And if I continue resonating through the ring, well, I can get a positive charge in the para position and the other ortho position as well. Giving me this resonance structure and plus O minus, O minus. Those are very sloppy O minuses. Double bond plus here. And then one more time, we can resonate this double bond down and get the positive charge in the other ortho position. So basically, this, what this should tell you is whenever you're dealing with addition elimination, whatever nucleophile is coming in is typically going to attack either the ortho positions, because the positive ends up in the ortho, or the para position, where the positive can also end up. Now, there are two things that every addition elimination reaction will involve. Like I said, one was a good withdrawing group. The other thing is a good leaving group. So for example, I will give you a chlorine here. Typically, it's a halogen that's your leaving group in these examples. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to have some decent nucleophile over the arrow. Let's say it is an OH minus. So we have an OH minus coming in. Okay. Well, the number one rule for your most efficient addition elimination reactant is that your leaving group needs to be either ortho or para to your withdrawing group. For the reason we saw before, we want to make the position positive, the resonance with the nitrogen, and that makes it really attractive for that oxygen to attack. So what's going to happen is this oxygen is going to come in with its electrons and attack the carbon that the chlorine is on. Okay? And now, because this carbon can resonate up with the nitrogen, meaning this swings down like this, this swings up to the nitrogen, and this swings up, this reaction is allowed to happen. If the chlorine was here or here, the meta positions that nitrogen, you would not be able to add because these double bonds would no longer be able to resonate into the nitrogen. Now, there are two ways you'll sometimes see the next intermediate drawn. 
One is just based on these arrows I gave you here. So let's draw that first because this is the intuitive one. You have an O minus, you have another O minus, you have nitrogen positive, double bond, and I resonated off the left side, so we'll keep that consistent. We have a double bond here now, we have an OH here, and you have a chlorine here. Okay? So this is the interesting part. The chlorine doesn't leave yet. Normally we just say the nucleophile comes in, kicks out the chlorine, and we'll be done with it. But remember, leaving groups directly on double bonds aren't actually very good at leaving, and the same can be said true for this. That chlorine isn't going to leave, rather the double bond has to resonate up to the nitrogen first. And this is the main reason why the metapositions do not work for these reactions. Because you can't resonate, so you can't make room for this intermediate. Now what happens next is we need to kick that chlorine out, and the way we do that is we reform the benzene ring. The electrons from one of these oxygens will swing back down, reforming its double bond. The double bond between the carbon and the nitrogen will resonate into the ring, reforming your benzene, and kicking out your good leaving group. And so this is the general mechanism of your addition elimination reactions. The net result is just you replace your leaving group with whatever your nucleophile was, but the mechanism of getting there is a little more in depth, and you definitely should be familiar with this intermediate. Okay? That's the idea of addition elimination.